Hi everyone! Today in the Huckleberry Garnet Rock Shop, we're going to be checking how our medium grit tumbling went. I'm going to take the lids off and dump these into the little gray bucket that we used in the coarse grit that I showed you earlier, and we'll see how they look. As you remember from the coarse video, I used the little bucket here to screen out all of the little plastic pellets, this here, give them a rinse, and then put them into my jars here that are labeled, I have this one labeled M for medium. So I'm gonna scoop all these out, give them a rinse, and then we'll take a look at the garnets. Sometimes this little step takes a time or two because they don't always come up to the surface right away. Um, so I do scoops a few times. And we'll give them a little rinse off here. I like to store them because then I can use them again. Usually do a little pan scoop in here uh, just to break up anything that may be stuck together and also to free those last little couple of plastic pellets. I'm going to dump and rinse this a couple of times. Um, I know some people save their grit, but I found that most of the time there's not a lot left in here. I think they're looking pretty good so far. I'll dry a couple of them off to give a check. As you can see, I've dumped them into my little mesh screen here, just like we did with the course. I'm going to give these a final spray off a couple of times. There's a couple of these that look like they have a little extra grit stuck in them where there might have been, you know, there's fractures in here. So what I'm going to do with this now is I'm going to put them in the vibratory tumbler. And this here, I'm going to go ahead and add that couple of squirts of jet dry to help break those little fine particles. And that's the stuff here. We use that in the course also to get the extra particles out. Just a little bit is all you need. So I'm going to fill this up with water. We'll let that run for about five minutes and then do a final rinse on it. While the vibratory is running, I'm going to go ahead and clean off my tumbler. Remember, we use our little scrub brush with some soap. Make sure these edges are all nice and clean and the barrels clean. That way, hopefully, there's not any extra contamination from anything left over. I think it looks pretty good. I want to make sure the edges are cleaned off using that nice, warm, soapy water. When you're rinsing, as before, always check the inside edges there because particles and chips of garnet can get stuck in there. So make sure your barrels are clean. It's been just over five minutes now, so we're going to do a check on this and see how they look. You can see the water's a little murky, and that's from those fine particles coming out of it. And I think they look pretty good. 
So we'll do one last rinse with these and then we'll put them in the barrel for fine. I'll go ahead and put these in the mesh strainer. I'll give these a nice spray off. That way it makes sure that none of the jet dry is left on them. On this one here, you can see a little bit of the silk possibly showing. It's a lot better to tell it in person in the shop light here, but we'll have to see if that produces like a star leg or some asterism on the corner of it when they get done with polish. Some of these smaller ones that are pretty thin, you can actually see the light through them here just in our shop lights. And if they're a little bit thicker, I mean, maybe even this one you could cut like a small marquee out of. This is some of the facet grade we get. So for medium grit here, I'm taking a quick look to make sure that I've got pretty much a nice, even, smooth surface on all of them. And yes, there is some fracturing in it. As you recall, that's the nature of the material. Um, hopefully, you know, we won't have any that really chip out, though, once they're past this point my fine tumbler here and I do have a separate barrel for each grit these will be put in I still try to keep the one and a half ounces of grit per pound um, just to make sure that it does a good job in there and we'll go ahead and add I'll add in the plastic pellets and the grit For the extra filler I need, I'm going to be adding those from my fine plastic pellets that I used in a previous tumbling. We'll make sure that we leave that gap at the top that you need. We'll fill this up with water, get our lids on, and get it rolling. And of course, before you put the lids on, always make sure that this rim is cleaned off right here so that you have a nice good seal. I always try to give a little press down on this just to make sure that it's set evenly. Now that it's all set, I'll put it in my little mini tumbler here, just like it says with the facing to the right. And we'll go ahead and turn this on and we'll set it to eight days and I'm going to run the fine at speed two and away we go in the video after this we'll go ahead and look at how the fine is when it comes out before it goes to polish <laughs> 